Hi, it's Jennifer Trask and today we are going to be talking about five ways to create raving fans. Now we all know that a raving fan is so valuable to your business. They'll engage with you, they'll con comment on your stuff, they'll share it, they'll tell their friends. Yes, you want lots of raving fans. So here's five things you can do to create them. The first thing you need to do is to create amazing content that attracts them and gets them to say, wow. You want to create a wow experience with the content and really the energy that you put out into the world through your brand and through your messages. You want people to feel better when they're around you, whether it's because they're physically around you or they're just on your website or your Facebook page or anywhere else that you decide to be. Wow people with your content and the way that you show up for them. The second thing you can do is keep it personal. No matter how big your business gets, people are still people. They want to feel heard, they want to feel understood. And when people feel heard and understood, then you are really gonna capture their attention and they're gonna remember you. Because remember that saying, people may not remember what you said to them, but they will certainly remember how you made them feel. So keep it personal by making sure you take notes on who you're talking to and follow up with people regularly. Send handwritten notes to your customers and clients. Surprise people. Do nice things for people. Send a useful article to someone. When people are taking the time to engage with you, really reciprocate that as much as you can. Now I know when you're building a business, you feel like there's not a lot of time for this, but I'm telling you that over the years of working with people and in building my own business, I have found that building relationships with people because I actually really care about their success has been a big key to my success. So take the time to go that extra mile for someone, to really pay attention, especially to your followers who in the beginning are, they are gonna be few. You wanna love them up. <laughs> and also those who are engaging with you online or in person, be present with people and be there for them. The third thing you can do to create raving fans is to be consistent. Now, if you follow me for any amount of time, you know that this is one of the things I'm constantly preaching. And that's because consistency matters. When you're in the world building your brand, you have to build trust. And trust is built through consistency. And my favorite analogy is that business is just like dating. And when somebody meets you for the first time, even if you've been in business for years, it's like you're going on a first date. And so you want to impress this person because if you go on a first date and then a second, but then maybe you don't call the person for a couple weeks and then you show up at their door and then you disappear again, they're not going to think one, you're very interested or two, that you're very reliable or loyal. And so they're probably not going to want to date you. The same as in business. If you're not consistent with putting yourself out there and adding value and showing up and sending great things via email and in your chosen selective marketing spheres, you won't gain the trust that people need in order to want to choose you as their solution provider. The fourth thing that you can do to create raving fans is to actually not do something and it's to not make people feel bad for not investing. Whether you're selling your private coaching or a program or a mastermind or what have you, timing matters to people. And one thing that you want to understand is sometimes if we do that, like put pressure on people, even if it's by accident per se, it's usually because we're coming from a space of lack. And so what you really want to do when you're putting yourself out there in your programs to create raving fans, you want to sell from that space of 
knowing that the right people are going to come into your program or are going to coach with you and that it's not wrong of them to say no. And when someone can say no to you and feel good about it, when they are ready to say yes, they'll come back to you. But if they say no to you and you make them feel bad for that, they won't come back to you when they're ready to say yes. But I can tell you this, they will be wowed that you didn't try to sell them something that either wasn't right for them or wasn't the right time for them, or maybe it was just too big of an investment for them. And this is in, you can do this when you are instilled with a really strong abundant mindset and when you understand that there are more than enough people who can buy from you, who want to buy from you, it's just that it's your job to go out there and get in front of them so they know about you so they can do so. The fifth thing you can do to create raving fans is to stand for something. In our industry, there are, there's a lot of coaches and there's a lot of competition. And that's not a bad thing, but the thing is, what's going to make people choose you? Now, there's a host of answers for that, and I think ultimately part of it is chemistry. But what creates chemistry between people? They got to feel connected. And in order to feel connected, you need to be okay with putting yourself out there, being vulnerable, and not being afraid to say what you stand for. And I really noticed this when I started more strongly putting out the message that my business is more about sustainability. I want my clients to be in business in five and 10 and 20 years time if that's what they want. I'm not about the get rich quick mentality. And if that's what someone is looking for, I tell them to go somewhere else. And so when I started really putting that message on, it, it's like people are like, yes, the, um, the people who resonated with, they're like a voice of reason. And, and it makes them excited to want to hear from you because they know that you and them have something in common and a common belief and particularly a common belief about whatever it is that you're selling, right? Because anyone who believes, no, like it can happen overnight or I want this or I want that, well, that's fine and they can go elsewhere. They're not gonna resonate with the material that I put out there around sustainability and allowing yourself the time to become that person you need to become, you see? So you really need to know what you stand for and how that's different from the rest of the market in order to create raving fans. So let's do a quick recap. When you focus on creating amazing content that will continually wow your audience, when you keep it personal and really remember people and even if you need to take notes, go ahead, do it. I do it, it's one of my secrets. <laughs> and become really good at follow up and reaching out to people even if they haven't bought from you. Then you ensure you stay consistent and don't go anywhere, be a really good dater and keep putting yourself out there on a regular basis so people can begin to build trust with you and know they're gonna hear from you in a value added way. You combine that with not making people wrong for not being ready or not buying from you and you bring it all together by standing for something strong. You're taking a position in the marketplace. It's kind of being for something and really being okay with it and being brave and being able to say that that's your message to the world. When you are able to do these elements, you create raving fans. You create people who think, yes, I like her or him. I like what she or he has to say. And I resonate with this person and this person understands me. And this person is consistent. And this person is the person that I want to invest in. 
So that's it. That's how you create raving fans. And now I would love to hear from you. Which of these five will you implement first? Or maybe dial up a little if you need to. Is there something else that you do that creates raving fans for you? Put it in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time.